live. So uh, just uh, for this session, it's not going to be all the time. It's for this session, uh, so as to reach out and pass the message across, you know, of what we are doing. So welcome tonight. Uh, this is uh, the kingdom building session of the Rebuilding Watching Prayer Warriors at the Gates for Nation. It is a platform intended to equip us and to prepare us to the understanding of kingdom intercession and gatekeeping assignment. Uh, on this platform, we uh, teach ourselves and we you know, sharpen ourselves with the knowledge of everything that is necessary to understand about gatekeeping and about uh, praying for the nations and about being a prayer warriors and about having that special calling of standing at the gates of nation, especially in a time such as this, when nations are shaken according to the word of God, you know, Psalm 46 and Psalm 2 tells us about, tell us about the shaking of the nations. And in this specific new decade, we are experiencing the shaking of the nations. And so we want to be ready. We want to be ready. This is an assignment that is calling all daughters of Zion and even sons of the kingdom who are anointed with the spirit of Zion. What is the spirit of Zion? It is a birthing grace, the birthing grace of Zion. It is a birthing spirit. It is a spirit that brings out of the realm of the spirit onto our world. It is a prophetic spirit. It is a spirit that, that you can liken to the, uh, the spirit that was upon the sons of Issachar. The Bible says that they knew the time and the season and they knew exactly what they ought to do. So uh, this is a platform to get us ready, to prepare us, to get many enrolled into this assignment, to create awareness and to just also sharpen and, uh, and encourage every single grace. Those of us who think that they are weak let the weak say i am strong those of you who think that they are poor you know when it comes to the understanding of the things of the spirit let the poor say i am rich so we have had a couple of sessions you know of kingdom building kingdom building is the message of the hour when it comes to the church uh, the, the, the bible says they that know they are god shall be strong and they will do ex mighty exploit the bible says that the lord can do exceedingly abundantly above what we can think or hope but according that the power that lies in us according to the power that is seen in us so i want to encourage us to be at that place you know like mary let us choose the best part the bible says that while martha was busy you know with physical occupation and so forth the bible said mary was at the feet of the lord what was the purpose of being at the feet of the lord to seek for direction to seek for divine alignment to seek for instruction to have revelation to come into the inner place of the lord and to tap from his grace so as to go and to be relevant the more the word relevant relevance is a powerful word in this season that i want the church to understand it's no longer going to be about, you know, having a ministry or about, you know, having a name outside there. It's going to be about being relevant. The Lord in this season is about to use the people available for him, whoever you are. And I want us to have the picture in this case of two powerful women in the Bible as powerful one to the other. The Bible says that Deborah was a judge in her time. She was a judge. She was at the front line, at the forefront, but in the same context of the the fight and the, the the story that is given to us you know about the victory that she won for israel the bible says that there was a woman who was in her house in her kitchen in her room you know busy in the affairs of the house but who was in alignment with what heaven was doing at that time and the bible calls her jahel and i want us to know that whether you are deborah in this season or jahel in this season the lord wants to use you for kingdom purpose why the kingdom because the kingdom is about the purpose of God. Jesus came preaching one message. His precursor, John the Baptist, came preaching the same message. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. Be ready. Jesus came with the same message, preaching about the kingdom of God. When he was living, he empowered the disciples to be ready with the message of the kingdom. Let us know that the Lord is very, 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 very serious about his investment. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord's and the full thereof and he has you know released us on the earth as, as his extension we are the life
meaning of the word. We are the, the salt of the world. This generation and this very present earth is yearning after the manifestation of the sons of the kingdom. You are going to notice that that passage doesn't say that yearning after the manifestation of any religion, but yearning after the manifestation of sons of God. In this season, we speak prophetically the arising of sons of the kingdom who are ready to take responsibility by the reason of the knowledge they have received for the lack of knowledge the people of God perish so this platform is purpose to equip us for readiness when it comes to the kingdom of God we want to have a hearing ear we want to have a heart that understands the things of God we want to have an eye like the eye of the eagle that is focused, that can see and perceive the things of the spirit. And we want to also be warriors relevant. We want to be watchmen who are blowing the trumpet in season and specifically in this season. So I want to thank God for you all that are joining. Thank God for those of you joining us on Facebook. You know, I just want us to understand that in this season, God is seeking like Ezekiel prophesied, like Isaiah prophesied, a people that are going to be all about the interests of God because the kingdom of darkness is working. They have been preparing things that we cannot even imagine about, you know, imagine for years and for generation and for generation. Satan is very strategic and it's time for the church to arise and come out of our littleness and come out of our baby, baby sitting and come out, you know, of our childishness and arise to the place of responsibility. When Jesus was walking with the disciples at the place of equipping, he told them after equipping them, I have released you, I release you to go into the nation and make nation disciples in every aspect of the organization of a society. The Lord is seeking for people who are going to be relevant with his message, relevant with his power, relevant with his work, relevant against the agenda of darkness. Relevance is what God is seeking at this time. So I want to thank God for every one of you that have joined us. I just pray that everybody will be able to understand, to hear us. Welcome those of you who are in on, on live. Welcome those of you who are here on the Zoom. Please, those of you who are on live there, share the video, share it specifically to people who feel like they have a call of intercession. On this, in this generation, in this dispensation, the earth is going to survive by the ministry or the calling of kingdom intercessors around the world. Kingdom intercessors standing at the gates, standing at their post, like Habakkuk said in Habakkuk chapter 2, I was at my post. I was at my post. In this generation, the earth is going to survive by the Nehemiahs and the Jeremiahs that are going to arise according to the set time, the time in which we are. Now, the kingdom of darkness, they are taking away the veil and they are appearing to us exactly how they are. They are using all form of medium. It is time for us to understand those mediums they are using, not only physically, but spiritually. The Bible talks about... The Bible, the Bible talks about a story that is very significant when it comes to, to the understanding of the things of the spirit. The Bible tells us that there was a king that wanted to curse the people of God and he called a prophet to make him a part of that evil plan. And the Bible said that the, 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 the king was taking the prophet on different mountains, different mountains. I want you to understand that a nation, when it comes to the organization of, of a nation, everything that we see as structures of, of organization, as sphere of influence, is a mountain in the spirit. And the kingdom of darkness is using those mountains to, to, to perpetrate their agenda. It is time for the church to understand things in the realm of the spirit and to take a stand. This is the general generation and the dispensation of kingdom intercessors and warriors in the spirit of people that are going to blow the trumpet, of people that are going to represent the kingdom of God, of people that are going to stand and be the extension of God. It's not going to be by might or by power, but by the spirit of the Lord. So who is ready to be dressed by the Lord and to be released by the Lord in this generation? You need a kingdom equipping, and that is why we are having this platform. God bless you as you are joining us and you are seeking, and as you are seeking also to join, you know, the, the the rebuilding gatekeeper assignment and to know how we are functioning. In a nutshell, I'm going to tell you that we are in a, a networking intercession of kingdom intercessors around the world. We pray for our nations intentionally. What does it mean intentionally? We are
committed. We are faithful. We pay the price. Hallelujah. In season and out of season, we know that we ought to do it because the Bible says that, you know, a, 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 a soldier, a soldier does not go entangled with the affairs of, of, of the nation. What does a soldier do, do? A soldier is always raging. So it's that readiness in the spirit that we are building when we are calling kingdom intercessors. We want people that are ready to pay the price. That is the intentionality in, the, in it. And the system, we want to be systematic. Systematic means what? In alignment with what God wants us to do. Strategic as the heavens will reveal to us in season. Hallelujah. So that is what who we are, a people that pray systematically and intentionally for our nations. One hour every day is our goal. One hour every day, take time to pray for your nation. Speak life over your nation. Stand against the agenda of Satan over your nation. Pray in covenant with the power and the covenant of God in your life. Arise to the high places. The Bible says that we don't warfare against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, dominion, wickedness in the high places. We want to be that extension of God. The people that lift up their voice in the spirit and then heaven releases the angels and the powers from heaven to deal upon the nation or to deal with nations, to deal with the spiritual realm over the nations. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Every Saturday we are having a 24 hours prayer storming. We cover the earth for 24 hours with prayer. Yes. You can involve your nation by joining the Rebuilding Gatekeepers. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Tonight, we are going to be very fast because we are having the 24 hours prayer storming starting uh, in, a, in a few minutes. So we are going to have a kingdom building session. And our host tonight is going to be a very powerful woman of God. She's a committed woman of God. She has been with us for the past five years. She is dedicated to uh, uh, the rebuilding gatekeepers assignment in terms of responsibility, spiritual responsibility, and even administrative responsibilities. Anytime she can support, she has been our um, administrator in organizing this, uh, uh, this forum, you know, so that we can be effective for years. And she has raised disciples, you know, people that can fit in her shoes. When I say disciples, I mean in the context of her responsibility, she raised different administrators. She is a woman with a passion for God, and I just love her. I want to welcome everybody joining us tonight. We are having a, a couple of people. We have Sister Corita. Uh, she's here in the USA. We have Sister Natalie here in the USA in Dallas. Corita is in Maryland. Sister Joanna A. Young is in Maryland. Pastor Pelagi is in Atlanta in the USA. Sister Tudor is in Maryland. Sister Loving in Maryland. Pastor Chantal, Rebuilding Gatekeeper Supervisor, General Supervisor in Cameroon. She is doing powerfully. She's with us tonight. She's from Cameroon. Sister Cynthia, uh, probably from the USA, unless I make a mistake, she will tell me. Uh, Pastor Evelyn Kent, very prophetic vessel of the Lord, uh, connecting from Cameroon. I bless God for her. Sister Leah, joining us from Maryland also. Sister Lena, joining us from Ohio. Sister Anna, joining us from Maryland. Sister uh, Pastor Anne, and yes, uh, Bangura joining us all the way from Sierra Leone, a, a mother in the kingdom of God, a powerful prophetic instrument. Pastor Marie France joining us all the way from Arizona, very powerful worshiper of the Lord, a psalmist and a pastor. And we are having, uh, I call her Pastor Ekopi because I, you know, she, I know God is preparing her just to serve him. Uh, she's a powerful sister and uh, she is joining us this evening also all the way from Dallas, Texas. Sister Carol Light just joined us. Uh, I believe she's joining from Cameroon. God bless you as you're joining. The link is outside there. Please join us and let us talk kingdom business. God bless you, Pastor Pelagi. It's going to be over to you. And Pastor Pelagi is going to talk tonight about a very powerful team. Uh, let me remember the team. The team is divine insight in the light of kingdom agenda divine insight in the light of kingdom agenda i'm not going to say more than that but my spirit is expectant take your papers take your notes you know be equipped and the lord bless you pastor pelagi you are welcome over to you man god bless you all god bless you man it's a pleasure to be here tonight. I'm excited because God is wonderful. He's marvelous, he's ex excellent in all his ways. And yes. um, who can I wish really- you could your video, can but really if you cannot, no problem. Can everybody hear me? 
I can hear you. Okay, God bless you. Before I start uh, uh, tonight, I want to... Yes, ma'am, we can. Okay, um, I want to add... Yeah, okay, I want to ask Sister Joanne to pray, please. If she can unmute and pray for us. Yes, yeah, Sister Joanne, can you unmute yourself and pray, please? Joanna. Sister Joanna. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we just want Amen. To thank you. Okay. Father, we just want to thank you for another opportunity, oh Lord, that you have given us to sit at your feet. Lord, we are praying, oh God, for attentive ears, oh King of glory. We are praying, oh King of glory, my Father, my God, that Lord, whatever you have for us today, my Father, is going to fall on fetter hearts, oh King of glory, in the name of Jesus, Amen. that it will be an impactation Amen. for a life time oh god a turn around encounter by amen. your word tonight oh father in the name of jesus we are praying oh god that you use your servant oh god to release upon us oh god impactation oh god by the spirit in the name of amen, jesus amen. christ we pray, my father my god amen. that today my father my god it will be recorded in our lives oh god that we met with you again by your word in amen. the name of jesus us. Father, we want to say thank you. Take all the glory as you speak to us. Uh, be that exalted in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you. I want to start by reading Psalm 33. It says, Sing joyful to the Lord, you are righteous. It is fitted for the upright to, to praise him. Praise the Lord with the Hallelujah. Up, Make music to him on the 10 string lyre. Sing to him a new song, play skillful and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Their steady host by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters on the sea into jars. He put the deep into the storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world revere him. For he spoke and it come to be. He commanded and he stood firm. The Lord foils the plans of the nation. He taught the purpose of the people, but the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purpose of his heart through all generations. Hallelujah. I want to stop there tonight. When I was meditating, thinking about what to talk about when she said, talk about divine insight. What is the insight, divine insight? Insight is awareness, is understanding, is the comprehension of the things above. When we begin to understand the things above, then we begin to align to those things because we know what we are aligning to. You cannot align to something you have no awareness of, you have no understanding of. So tonight, I want to start by saying that uh, when we begin to understand the kingdom of God, then we can do what God wants us to do. But it says God's plan starts forever and his intention, his intention, stand from generation to generation. God has planned from the beginning. He has planned for today, he has planned for the future. But mm. it comes the time like this time we're living on, we begin to wonder what is the plan of God for now? What is Come the on. plan of God for this generation? What is uh, his intention? What is going on? But it's easy for us to lose sight because we want to look at the events that are happening. Our eyes begin to follow the events. We begin to follow the events around us. Oh, what is happening over there? East, west, south, north. Then when we focus our eyes on the event, we forgot that the really focus should be on the intentions of God. So what are the intentions of God for this, uh, for this time right now we're living on? Sometimes the things is not the right now. It can be before, before these things happen, you were prepared. 
now we are in the things that have been prepared for because this is not a surprise for God. God knew about this time and God knows what is going to happen after this time. So before we continue, we have to understand, establish the fact that God is God and God is in control. He's in control now. He was in control yesterday. He will be in control tomorrow. And his intention will not be shaken. Nothing God has prepared for this time will not be shaken, regardless of what is happening. So when we have that understanding, then we begin to ask ourselves, then what are the intention of God? Why wasn't I aware of those intentions? What was, where was my focus before this thing happened? Because I'm sure that God has spoken of those things, maybe because we were not uh, focusing on, that, uh, on those things that we, feel like we're surprised because this thing have surprised some people, but people that know God are not surprised at all of what is happening. So now if we want to understand the purpose of God, first of all, I have to understand who God is because I cannot understand his intention. I cannot begin to understand the plans of God if I don't have a knowledge of what, who God is. Who God is for, to me? What is the relation I have with God? How God display Himself? What is the relationship that God have have begin to uh, 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 create to have with me from the beginning? And first, I want to talk about the first relation that we have is that God is my God. God is my God. Is not God of any other person, but that relationship I have with him is my God. As he said on these verses, he said, but trust in your Lord. I say, you are my God. Trust in him because he is my God. So, Psalm uh, 18 to say, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the one of my salvation, my stronghold. And some of David and 63 say, when he was in the wilderness of Judah, oh God, you are my God. He was in the wilderness and he remembered that there is no other God, but he has God that lives in the heaven. That God is everything that he can be to him. He is his creator. He is his healer, his deliverer. He's everything anybody can look into a relationship with God when he's with God. So, that first thing that when we establish that there is no other God beside him and that is the only God, the only authority known that can control over the earth and the heaven, then we begin to have a different perspective of the things that are happening now because we have our eyes on the one who has created all things. And the one that says that nothing on earth and heaven cannot happen if he's not aware of. And Jesus yes. was telling to, and Jesus was telling to to the enemy in uh, uh, when uh, the enemy came to, uh, to, to 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 tempt him. It was a temptation. He said, "I will give you everything. I will do this. I will this. You know, I can have your life and everything." But he told him, "You cannot have any power on me." unless it's given to you by God. So there is no power that can influence my life if God doesn't allow it to happen. Because God is the one in control of everything. And sometimes the enemy can think that is winning. But again, when we come back to look up, we know who is really in control. So first thing, I know that God is my God. Now, my second relation that I begin to have with God, I continue to have with God is that God is my father. For many years, the people of Israel worked with God, but none have known God as the father. Then become, things become interesting when Jesus come and he revealed to us a different side 
of the person they've been worshiping for so many times, for so many years, the generation and generation. But he tells them, no, you knew him as God, but let me tell you something. He is your father. He is your father. And what is that relationship begin to change from God? Because when we have that relation with God, we revere him. We feel like God is up there, is far away, is big, is great, is far away. So we cannot really reach up to him. And we can see that with the relationship he had with the people of Israel. It was difficult for them even to enter the holiest or holy place. The holiest place because, again, there was fear in them. But however, right, however, they were able to reach God but not how we have access to God today. Again, when we read in the Bible, and I want to read that verse talking about uh, the father, it says, when God begins to, uh, to have that relationship yes, with God as a father, he said, Father, I want those who have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory. The glory you've given me because you love me, the creation of the Lord. So I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. Amen. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. Now that I'm that in that relationship with my father, so what, what can I fear? That relation is so great knowing them. Now I can have access to him. I can go to him. I can sit. I like to... To, 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 to imagine myself sitting on the laps of my father and being secure in that laps because nobody can snatch me from those laps and those arms surrounding me. Now when I begin to understand, not only is my God, but is my father. I can sit in his lap. I can have that communion with him. I, can, I have access to everything my father has. Then I become to relax a little bit. I'm no longer that servant. I'm not just no longer that person that the father up there, but I become that 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 heir, that son, that daughter. I sit on my father's lap and I and and, uh, and I begin to see that everything around my father, everything that my father has is mine Ooh. too. Come on now. So I on it. Yes, I boast on it. That's for me too. This is my, my father's kingdom, and I this kingdom is mine too. And the Bible said nobody will snatch me away from my father. So when I begin to understand that, don't I have my perspective begin to change too? Yes, ma'am. It's my father. In my, I'm boasting about it. I'm telling everybody I can tell, that's my father. I'm a princess. And that's my relation. My father loves me and I love him. And everything my father has is mine. Who can give me better? Then, not only my father, I'm a son to that father, Ooh. then I begin to see God as my friend. Let me tell you, so many fathers here on the earth have relationship with their son and daughters, but they don't have that friendship with their, uh, with their, their, their sons and daughters. Jesus said, not only you are, you are sons and daughters, but God call you friends. And that friendship is so deep that I begin to think, okay, now that I have, I have access to my father, we are also friends. Now my father can tell me things that he can hey. tell me before because I'm his son. He begins to tell me I begin to enter in, in different, I begin to enter a different standard, a, a different realm of the things. My father revealed me things. That's what the Bible, I, I love the Bible when the Bible say, when, when uh, God called Abraham his friend, it's because God began to tell him what is gonna happen. He say, would that uh, on Genesis 18, 17, Abraham, God revealed, uh, God revealed Abraham's intention. Remember, I told you at the beginning that God has intention and those intentions will never be shaken because God has plans. Now, Abraham and God had that relationship where God began to tell Abraham 
things that will happen. His intention is hey. sharing his intention. Hey. His plan, his vision. Are we friends with God? What is my relationship right now with God? I'm still in the stage of my, my God only. Is it my God only? Because yes, you can be saved and God can be your God and you can stay to that relationship right there. You will be in heaven. But hey, don't you want more? Don't you want to be the son and the daughter that God cherish with whom he, 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 he wanna share all his uh, estate? His don't you want to be that friend with whom God begin to share his intention? So this generation right now, what is happening? I want to be in that stage of that friendship, that friendship with God, where God begin to reveal me the, his intention for the world. That's what I'm seeking. When I have that understanding that God is my friend, to understand, we have friends. We know we have friends and we have levels of friends. I can't say levels of friends because either you have a friend or you don't. We have acquaintance, but we have friends. We, we share things that are deeper. Look at the relationship between Jonathan and, that, and David. The, the Bible said that they love each other to the soul. I mean, it's a sharing experience that is, is, not, is not found everywhere, that kind of relationship with Jonathan. And it, it's a relationship that is deep to the soul. So how many of us can we say, I have a, a friend with whom Ooh. I have that relationship to the soul, my soul, Goodness. but my I can Goodness. have that with God. Malika and God Talabro. says, you can love your God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. Your so mind. that is the dimension of the loving of Father. So I love him with all my heart. That's how I love God. I can love God with all my heart and stop there with God only. But when I begin to love God, all my soul, then I enter that friendship that cannot be separate because we are one soul now. Hmm. Yeah, that's not where my relationship has to start with God. Yes, my friendship with God is deep. I love that that relation with, with, with God. But what is what else is greater and better? My relationship with God as a bride is my groom. I'm the bride. God, thank you. Because that relationship right there, tell me, I'm no longer only friends. We share the intention, but I'm going there in the inner chamber of my God. Because when you are married, you have a home. <laughs> that inner chamber together and that intimacy right there, tell me, you can have that with friends. You have that with the groom. Yes, that's the relationship that is deeper. Because now, you don't share not only the intention, but you share the spirit. Because when you have intimacy with the person, you don't go just for the heart. You go for the soul and you go to the spirit. Come on now. And that's the higher level of the intimacy that we have to have with God. And that when we have that intimacy with God, let me tell you, we become pregnant and Woo! we begin to birth. Uh -huh. We become pregnant and we begin to birth. Yes, we begin to birth. And now I'm telling you, it's bigger than me at that point because that relationship that is it's so deep in love, I'm in love with my God. God is in love with me. We're creating things. We become partner. That's a partnership Maraca now. We, are, we partner. We do things together. We go everywhere together. We we plan together. It, it tells me what's gonna happen. Then we make things happen all around us because we are it make things in happen. that relationship. It make, yes, we make things happen. And we begin to birth children. Yes, we begin to multiply. That's what God called us. He said, go and preach the gospel and multiply. That means what? I'm beginning to birth children. I have them all over the world everywhere and i begin to have descendants because i have entered that inner chamber with god and i have become intimate with him and then when things come, begin to happen around me i don't fear i don't fear because i know those things because god has shared that with me before it happened so what is my relationship today with god do i understand all those dimensions of relationship at what point on my relationship am I right now? 
am I still in the relationship or, or where God is my God? I'm enjoying that, yes. Am I in the relationship where God is, I'm a son and daughter, and I'm just selfish, just enjoying being a daughter, a son, or I'm a friend and begin to have, sharing those intentions, or I'm in the inner chamber of God where I'm his bride and he's my groom, and we make things happen. Mm. So that's the question today. So we're going to have kingdom, if we're going to have an impact in the kingdom, then we have to become that, uh, uh, we have to create that uh, uh, partnership with God. And I want to read a verse that uh, will highlight that even better. And it's on John 15. Let me read that for John 15. It says, uh, John 15, oh, let me find it, I'm sorry. No, don't need to be sorry take your time john 15 is going to be john 54 to 5. we want to read that it says abide in me and i in you as the branch cannot bear fruit itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me i am the vine you are the branches whoever abide in me and I in him, he is that bear fruit. For apart from me, you cannot do nothing. Just what I just said. We mm. cannot make things happen unless we abide in God, in, in him, and he abide in me. And that's the only in the inner chamber that thing, those things happen, those deep things happen. Those things don't, don't happen outside there for people to see. When we're talking about intimacy, when we begin to do those things happening in that secret place, it's in that secret place. That's why we create things and things happen. Even the enemy go in the, you know, the enemy likes to, 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 you know, to uh, uh, copy everything, make things happen. They have his secret place. But again, what is relevant to me today is the understanding that First of all, God has plan and he has his intention. If I'm gonna go, if I'm gonna know those plans and those intentions, I have to understand the relationship that I have with God. And I have to abide in him. And I'm gonna stop there. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Pastor Pelagi, God bless you real good. God, God bless you, my God. This was this was so 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 deep. Can you hear me? Yes. God, God bless you, Pastor Pelagi. My God, my God. Uh, I mean, at my own it's level. A uh, it's a privilege. Yeah. Thank you very much for consecrating your time. You know, for uh, taking time not only to. Uh, to come here and speak, but to wait on the Lord and to really deliver and to really deliver. Uh, the, the team was uh, a divine insight for in the light of kingdom agenda. And, and then she started by saying, mm. it is all about how do you perceive God? How do you understand God? Who God is with you? You will, at the end of the day, what I'm retaining in this is that you will deliver you will birth to your generation according to your relationship with God. That is what I'm getting. Yeah. And relationship with God goes from dimension to dimension. Do you just know God and do you want to stay there? Do you want to be a friend of God? Do you want to have a soul relationship with the Lord? Or do you want to go even deeper to the place where you have a spirit relationship with God? And you know, while she's speaking that way, while she was speaking that way, I had even a deeper understanding it, this is so powerful. You know, mm. in the days of Mary, there were Amen. many virgins. There were many virgins. But what is it that mm. made Mary to be so specific, so particular, to be used by Amen. God, to, be, to, to receive the overshadowing of the Spirit? It was that inner place, that, mm. that sought for that inner relationship, that sought for that inner place. Mm. I believe that she had gone a little bit deeper. So if we want to be in alignment with kingdom agenda, relevant with kingdom agenda, there is a place to seek for God. If even deeper in this time and in this season she said something about abraham very powerful 
so powerful. She said something about Abraham. She said that at a point the Lord called Abraham his friend. Why? Because he was sharing things with him. He was sharing things with him. God will not just share things with anybody. We have friends that we call bodies, no. but we also have friends that we call, you know, like my daughter would say sometimes, my bestie, bestie. You understand? We, we share heart matters for those of, for mm -hmm. the people that keep friendship that way. They share yes. heart matters. They share heart matters. Mm -hmm. yep. And now, one of the things that is very, very important, mm -hmm. and I want us, I want to let this in our spirit, even as we stay here and we receive this teaching. If there is one thing you have to go with, she said something. You don't but you cannot but from the Lord from a point of just being an acquaintance with God. You cannot birth. There is a place to reach to birth for, for God. There is a place to reach to birth for God. And so for kingdom relevance, for kingdom agenda, to have an insight, to have an understanding, to have an open eyes, to be a, 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 a confined to by the Lord. When the Lord began to, the Lord told Abraham, am I going to do this thing without saying it, without revealing it, without sharing it with Abraham, yeah. my friend? And yeah. why did he share it with Abraham? Abraham, Abraham was not an, an ordinary person. Hallelujah. He knew that Abraham had gotten to Amen. that place where there was this spirit-to-spirit -spirit relationship. And spirit-to-spirit -spirit relationship is not just for ordinary people. It is for people with prophetic insight. It is for mm. people that have, that go beyond, beyond their personal life to the interest of God. To the interest of God. And that is very important. The kingdom of God is at hand. The interest of God is at hand. Who in this generation will be able to arise to the need of the kingdom? Oh my God, this was so deep. God is seeking for a man. It doesn't mean that there are not people. But among the people that are existing, how many people have crossed the level of just being, you know, acquaintances with God? How many people have crossed the level where they just know God? How many people have crossed the level where they are just friends? How many people have crossed the level where, you know, God is just their provider? How many people have entered into the inner chamber where they can share their intimacy with the intimacy of God and are ready to be overshadowed by the Spirit of the Lord? So the Spirit of the Lord overshadowed Mary because she had found a place in the inner chamber. And when we started Amen. this retreat, the Lord told us, there is a place in my inner chamber. The more we share, the more we stay in this place, you know, of kingdom uh, building and kingdom equipping, the more we understand that there is a deeper place. The call to come in, in the inner chamber was not an ordinary place, was not an ordinary mm -hmm. call. So there is a, yeah. a walk. There is a walk to be done. I want to tell mm -hmm. everybody, go deeper. I want to tell everybody, suck for him even more. I want to tell everybody, do an x-ray of your relationship with God and find to see where you are. And now plan mm -hmm. to even increase or go deeper to the place where God can trust you. He can trust you. Even mm -hmm. at the level of friendship, is already something. He can trust you with his mm -hmm. project. Because yeah. he said that that's the place where we plan with God. Oh mm. my God, it was so powerful. We plan yeah. with God. But it's one thing to plan with God. It's another thing to be at the place of conception with God. Yeah. Spirit relationship take you at the place of conception with the Lord. So, Pastor Pelagi, God bless you. My spirit is quickened, excited. Mm. It's going Amen. to cost we'll you something you. to get to that place where you birth with God. Amen. You can be virgin like everybody, but be a different virgin. You know, you can be a wise, yeah. the Bible said there were, there were 10 wise ladies, you know, 10, 10 virgins, but in the midst of them, there were five wise. You can decide you know, to be a virgin, but what type of virgin are you going to be? So this is, mm. this is, this is a powerful teaching. This is a powerful teaching. Uh, we are starting our 24 hours prayer storming and, uh, mm. Uh, I, I, I'm just going to, uh, I'm not going to retain us here for long, but uh, I'm not going to retain here, us here for long. I'm just going to give us the opportunity, you know, to intervene and to say something before we let everybody go and everybody go and birth and everybody go and walk onto a higher place and everybody go and repent and everybody go and search for God even more. Wow. All I can say is wow.
that was a blessing. That was a blessing. And my joy is that it's recorded and I'm going to have time to prepare it and share it with everybody. So I love you guys. I love you guys. I'm going to unmute us. And please, uh, since we are live, if you're having, you know, uh, your children, as soon as I unmute you, please mute yourself again so that we're not going to have uh, all type of intervention uh, going uh, over the live. And I want to appreciate all the people that connected from the live. God bless you. God bless you. I pray that you are as much blessed as we are blessed. Share the video. I think we are going to do this a little bit. Uh, more often, you know, because this, what we are sharing here cannot just stay at our level, especially when we get, we get to kingdom building like this, where we where we, we share the word of God and we edify ourselves. I think we have to go beyond our Zoom now. When we come for uh, the headquarter of prayer, then we can stay here in the Zoom and just do what we are doing. God bless you. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you, my daughter, sister Sony. God bless you. All right. The floor is open. Let me unmute everybody. Let me unmute everybody. And the floor will be open for interventions. Hallelujah. Who is, who is number one? Okay, please mute, mute yourself. Mute yourself. Mute yourself. Mute yourself at home. Mute yourself. All right. Who is number one? The people that were writing, Pastor Evelyn, I'm pretty sure you have something to say. So over to you. <laughs> I was just being the scribe. <laughs> yeah. I'm so blessed by by what she she just shared with us tonight, because it's like a full cycle, which is the new birth. You go to God, your father, that's grasping what, what the new birth is all about. Then my friend, that's the first degree of intimacy. And then my groom. I really just love the way she put it across because she says it's when you see the groom, when you are with the groom, that's where the intimate things, the real intimacy, the deep things come in. And ah. it's from that deep place that you can birth. So if, if you are not, you, you don't get pregnant without meeting with your groom. You don't get pregnant without meeting with Pastor your Olaf, groom. We say that yeah. not on the street, as Pastor Clarice used to, used to say, you cannot, you cannot get pregnant on the street. Then something is wrong. You with can't you. get pregnant on the street. You can't get pregnant on the street. So God is calling us to a place of deeper things, deeper things, mm. deeper, deeper things. I, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed by all what I've heard tonight. And it's challenged me again to to <laughs> to seek my groom, to seek that husband at a at a deeper level, so that we can have twins, triplets and quadruplets and all of that in this season. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Yes, seriously. Yes, Seriously, <laughs> we'll be having one, 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 one. Let's have the twins, the triplets, because I mean the the, the need is the need is too big. So when we are capturing this mountain, yeah. let's capture triplets, quant, you know, how do they call them? Four, yeah. five, seven, yeah. you know, and with God yeah. it's possible. It's, it's high fertility. This season where we are is high fertility season. Sorry, let me use that illustration. That's the way it comes across that's, to me. That's the way it's, it's as funny as it may yeah. sound, but that's the way it comes across to me. We're in a high fertility time. And let's not allow this sensation to pass. Yes. If we don't get into that intimacy place, we'll be running a risk like when Abraham oh, told Sarah just to go. Abraham there. let Sarah go with the king. And if, if the guy had slept with Sarah, they would have given birth to some strange child. So it's like a big morning. God is calling us because there is high fertility. And we have to be able to, Mama Clary, stop laughing. <laughs> it's serious matter. The fertility is high and we need to use it. Otherwise, we'll miss that, that fertility period and we'll enter again into some, excuse my language, but I don't know. For some reason, it's that kind of illustration that is coming right. to my mind right now. I think it's more tangible to all of us. Yes. You miss that period. You, yes, you go and enter yes. into, we're in the unsafe period. Just use it and give birth to those children. Otherwise, you will enter again into, into some other period and then you, you will miss the cycle, okay? <laughs> we'll miss a cycle. I don't know. I mean, that's how I'm just understanding it. 
you don't want to miss that cycle. You want to birth that child during the time when it's fertility time, and then yes, you know. Ma'am. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the illustration that was coming to my mind, which looks vivid enough for us to pick it. It's I mean, the best that's my understanding, team. and I'm sharing it with us here. Wow! So, hallelujah! Hallelujah! I mean, we yeah, are. Praise the Lord. <laughs> we are getting to the I'm end. Pastor, allow me first. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is well. It's, it's funny, but you know, it's very yeah. serious and very powerful. Very, very powerful. This cannot be the revelation of flesh and blood. It can only be God. <laughs> the heart of a daughter of Zion to just download. We have a, uh, you know, uh, we have um, different reactions in our in, in the in the chat. I want to tell everybody that we have a chat uh, platform where you can ask your questions as they come. Also, remember, this is Kingdom Building session so while we are while we are having these teachings you know it's good also to prepare to have questions and so forth and uh this 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 here you know uh, today was my first trial to go facebook live but at the end of the month we are having a conference that is coming please uh, uh you know i'm not good in, in planning in terms of time sometimes i do things like at the last minute but i will try to to prepare a flyer out there and we will have uh, we have our conference on another powerful team, and I just pray that the Lord just lead me to have the right people to speak to us because that one is not going to be just flesh and you know what I, what not flesh and blood, but just meat. It's going to be bones. It has to be bones so that we grow faster to that place of fertility, as our sister said, and begin to have tri triplets. Mm. Ah, Caleb, yeah, Caleb, Caleb was 80 years old. He said, I am 120, not 80, 120. He said he's still ready to go and get the mountain. He's still ready to go and get the mountain. So, you know, we, we, mm. we, we and when he, he the, the, the strength upon him was that an ordinary strength. It was a triple portion, a four, quad, time four portion and so forth. Exponential God. And in this generation, with what is being prepared from the kingdom of darkness, you need exponential of grace. Hallelujah. So, yeah, Can so, I add something? I don't know. I keep sure. on going in that direction, that sure. same yeah. direction of fertility. You know, I, I, I'm looking at the, the, the four words which she, she brought out. It's like we, we have dated God for too long. Hmm. We've dated him for too long. Hmm. Let's leave the dating phase. Woo. And let's get let's get married to him. Yes. Let's leave the dating. That's from the friendship. Let's leave the dating. We've dated him for long, and we've been nice. We come, we go out on dates. We eat chicken. Right. We eat what what. But he wants us to go to the place of the sacrifice. He yeah. wants us to go to the deeper place, the place where he can see our our uh, nudity, our nakedness. N nakedness. And where yes. He can also show us his nakedness where he can tell us things and go beyond like like how can i put it where he can confirm to us the promises he made when we we're dating where he can give deeper revelations deeper explanations of the sentences we're hearing when we're dating him you yeah know? amen so uh, that's that's what i wanted to add to to that element mm. hallelujah God bless you, woman of God. Is there anybody else that just want to pour his heart and just, you know, I know that we have been tremendously blessed here. Tremendously. This, this was, this is just going from one height to another height. So before yeah. we close, is there anybody else that wants, you know, to pour out something? We are live today. So uh, we're just going to keep to kingdom building here today. And uh, 24 hours prayer storming is starting, so we have all the all the 24 hours to intercede. So we're not going to intercede at this level either. We're just going to keep to the kingdom building. That's why you have the time to really, you know, contribute to what we receive. So anybody wants to add anything else? Just unmute yourself, and the floor is open. Hello, this, this is Joan. Yes, Sister Joan, go ahead. Um, I want to bless the Lord for the word tonight. It was so powerful. And I believe my team and I, we are blessed. And we are just thinking, I'm sure they're thinking the way I'm thinking the same question. How do we get to that point of getting married like Pastor Evelyn just said? 
Because we just came in and we are still at the level of, you know, God, Amen. my father, God, my father, God, my father. How do we go from there? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Very powerful question. Very powerful yeah. question. I love the question. Very powerful. How do you get to that place of intimacy? So uh, first of all, I want to say that when it comes to this assignment, just coming to this, as she's not talking about this assignment. She's talking about you. I like, I like how she said, you know, the first point she said is that you get to have a, a, a to know God. You get to know God. But the second point she said, I'm going to allow you to say something, Mama Yes. The second point she said is that then you get to the place where God is my God. And I love that. When Jesus was taken away, you know, the disciples went apart. Everybody went apart. But there is somebody that did something extraordinary. And that person said, I'm not going, I, I will never leave the tomb of the Lord. I will never marry the Mary Magdala said, I will never leave the tomb of the Lord. And, and, and what comes into my spirit for about her reaction is that she was able to, to, to react that way, first of all, because she knew exactly who God was for her. He was that one that drew her out of a life probably that was a life of condemnation and it was her particular story with the Lord. So you grow in the Lord, first of all, in relationship with you and God. You, what, what is it that he did for you that makes you to love him better than other people? Now, getting to love God and like God for what he's doing for you is still a level. There is a place where he will not even do for you. And you will, because when somebody always do for you you want to stay around that person but when that person is at the place of their death at the place of their at the place of their weakness at the place of their vulnerability and that is where jesus was he came to them he promised the disciples that you know he told the disciples who he was he presented himself as the son of god in the book of john he was born to tell them that he and the father they are one he is the son of god you know he's the son of abraham and so forth he even said i I am the I am, you know, he said he is the king that is to come and so forth, the Messiah. And then suddenly Jesus is captured. Jesus is crucified. Oh, as soon as Jesus is captured, Peter jumps in the flesh and begins to deny Jesus. Not once, not second, not three good times. In fact, all the investment that Jesus has made in Peter, Peter forgot it in the twinkle of an eye. And Peter said, I, I will not identify to this guy. This guy, where is his power? Where is that his anointing? Where, where are all the promises that he made? And before you know it, he quitted. But I'm telling you, there was a woman that was there in the midst of these things and that was watching, but she was not watching like every other person because she had a she has grown. And that word is very important. She had grown. There was a process she has gone, even though the disciples will be Jesus all the time, that lady had grown to the place where she knew Jesus chief friendly. So in the place of his scandal, everybody scattered. This lady went, she said, no, I am one of the people that believe that what he said, he meant it. I am one of the people that know that if Jesus said that he is the bread of life, he is the bread of life. If Jesus said that his resurrection and life, his resurrection and life. If Jesus said that he will resurrect after three days, the disciples were listening to this thing in the flesh, but there was somebody there that had that, that had gotten beyond the level of the flesh. She was pregnant with the resurrection. That's why she was at the place of resurrection. She was pregnant with something that other people could not be pregnant with. That's why you will be you will be positioned at the place of your relationship with God. That is what Pastor Pelagi was saying. You can only be positioned with God at the place of your relationship with God through the willingness to grow. The willingness to grow. When God doesn't give us all that bread and water and husband and everything that we need in life, what is our relationship with God? When I moved from Africa to, the, to America, it was a different ball game. The glory, the honor, the, the service, the, 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 the people serving me and everything that was around my relationship with God in Africa just disappeared. Now, some people can come to this place because everything is so, so much available for the flesh. Some people deviate from their faith completely. But something in me, there are some roots in me that started speaking. And I was willing to go through the process of growth. And everybody see birthing. 
You will birth when you get into the inner chamber with the Lord. It, it is a process. So that's just what I wanted to lay here. So when everybody scattered, Mary the Magdalene went to the tomb. She went to the tomb and eventually Jesus resurrected and Jesus met her and said, go and tell the disciples. Go. He gave her a message. She could hear from him. She could, she could hear from him because she was pregnant with something that other people were not pregnant with while she was walking with him. She was pregnant with resurrection. That's why she was at the place of resurrection. And she received a message. She took it to the disciples until Jesus revealed himself to them at the level of their growth. Remember that even after everybody walked on their growth when they received the message, there is still one. There is still one, Thomas. Thomas was able, he said, unless I put my hand eh, in his wounds, I will not believe. And Jesus also came for mm -hmm. that one. So God is willing to let us grow according to our willingness. So that's how I can answer that, uh, my sister. God bless you. Uh, Pastor Agnes wanted to say Thank something. you, Mom. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, ma'am, we can hear you. May the Lord bless Pastor Pelagi so much. Amen. She said, they just give you the desire to be in love with God and the desire right away Amen. to enter the chamber. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so really, that, that's what's great. I just want to say that it's easier for a woman even to understand that relationship because the woman mm. is the one who can be in the position of the, of the bride. Mm. Usually, humanly yeah. speaking, she's the one in most of the time in the position of the bride. So she can understand better the desire to go in the intimacy, to go in the men. Most mm. of the time, they cannot understand that that much because the level of intimacy is different from ours. It's really different. This this mm. desire to be under the dependency of somebody to go and listen to him, to go and receive from him, to go and that's most is most something as for a woman. So it's something that women may understand better and that makes women more dependent to the Lord. And mm. one thing that I wanted to mm. say is that um, what we can develop this thing by never being satisfied of what we have, with what we have. We never be satisfied, mm. we desire more, we always want more. We always mm -hmm. want more. Okay, we, we received this today. We heard about this today. But then what more? And we go ourselves to look for it, to seek for it. Let the Lord see our desire. Let him see us running behind it. Let us let him see us thirst, thirsty and mm -hmm. hungry of it. Yeah. And then we, yeah. we, we need mm -hmm. more of him. We, we, we need to make God a re really part of everything of ourselves you know when when we take him as a father okay we pray oh father this and father that as pastor pelagi said but the time you begin to look at god as your advisor whenever you sit even in a meeting and in the office inside yourself you begin to ask him questions is that right is it good do i do really like that yeah. Yeah. You, you begin to receive answers and the inner chamber begins to be created in you because you bring God at the level where people are talking all around you, people are saying things, but you have your very own part where the both of you are only the two of you yeah. together, Come where nobody now. else. Mm. And then when, when, when you bring mm. God to that level, you begin, begin to develop that in everything. Even when you are cooking, you ask God, do you think this will be sweet mm. enough? You, 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 should I add this for yeah. that? And you begin to follow instructions. Yeah. You begin to be part of you in every way every place you carry him and you will see that you begin to develop in you the need and the desire to be just alone with him Woo! just alone. Yeah. amen just alone. amen yeah amen you, you may be married sometimes you don't even want your husband to be there you know <laughs> yeah you don't want him to be there because it's disturbing <laughs> you are he's intruding and so uh, um mm. You, you, you develop that thing also with prayer, your, your level of prayer. Your prayer not, must not only remain when you go and kneel down or when you, when you are intentional to pray. Your pray, prayer yeah. is communication with God. So yeah. let it just be every minute of you be just this communication prayer with God. For life. Okay. Yeah. It was, I got married at 48 years old and I was very, very, very <laughs> resistant. Yeah. God had to work on me for me to accept to get married. I didn't want, 
God has such a place that I will communicate, I go to bed, all my fears, all my, my, my problems, all my troubles, as I come on my bed, I just, I just make God a reality that he is there and I talk to him. And I will just mm -hmm. talk to him like, did you see what happened to me today? Did you see, do you really think that I was in the position to be in that thing or like this mm -hmm. or like that? I will just be talking to him just naturally. It's another mm -hmm. form of prayer because it's communication. Yeah. It's mm. still communication. And yeah. when you reach that level of communication with him and also a certain a certain level of worship, the Bible says the presence <laughs> of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord, there's a fullness of fullness joy. Of joy. Amen. Yes, a fullness Amen. of joy. Even if you have the worst husband by you, really, you can close your eyes, close your ears to him and just focus mm -hmm. to him on, on God. Mm -hmm. You know? So uh, mm -hmm. it's very, very profitable for us to enter that level of intimacy with the Lord. Uh, mm -hmm. um, we can talk to him orally, but we must learn to be most of the time with him heartily. I can just share the experience I had with my husband at the beginning of our marriage. It was so difficult. And I started telling God, you see, you see what happened? I told you I don't want to marry. I don't to get married. And you made me to get married. I was just blaming the Lord. And the Lord said, I want to teach you submission. Yeah. So take time before me. Let me teach you submission because the problem comes from you. And I couldn't mm -hmm. understand that the problem comes from me because I, I, I never, I was never reacting openly to my husband and things like that. And he told me, you know what, my daughter, what you speak with your mouth doesn't touch me so much. But what's coming from your heart is the one speaking louder. Mm -hmm. to me. So you speak loud in your heart and you show me that you're not submissive because your heart's speaking so much. So, I, and I, I started learning. He started teaching me what submission is. And I started just following and following his steps, whatever my husband does or whatever, I just relax. I allow him to be himself because I know that God, first of all, I trust him, he's in control. He's yeah. in control. Amen. So I, I don't say anything. He speaks something, I just allow him to be himself. I know that, well, the Lord will deal with him. If he goes the wrong way, the Lord will deal with him. Let me just uh, take care about what, yeah. uh, I mean, let me just handle what concerns me and what I have to do. That's all. And then it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't like kind of bring bad emotions in me. I don't, I don't entertain God with bad emotions with me. I entertain God with faith. I entertain him with my own love that I share with him. Ooh. I speak love to him. I speak love. I, I have my real, real relationship with God. For long, I took my husband like just a delegate of God to me. He was just a delegate to God because God was my, is and still is my, my only and my true husband. So um, yeah. it, it allowed me just to, to, just to, to leave some things in the hands of God and just handle mm. my love with God. It is very, very important for us as women to come to that place because so many troubles, so many things come to us, challenge our lives, our emotions. We are emotional beings. And, and, and so they challenge us so much in our emotions that sometimes it breaks our relationship with God. Wow. Let us just be in that relationship with God and let other things around just be secondary. Let mm. that relationship be first. This is Amen. maybe what I wanted to share with you. God bless you. God bless Amen. you. Yes, Mama. Amen. I want to say something. Amen. She said something very important. When 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 you establish that relationship with God in the place of intimacy, you you relinquish or you lay everything in the hand of God so that when you come out of there, you can trust every other thing outside because God mm. is in charge, God is in control. Hallelujah. Mm. Very powerful, mm. very powerful. So uh, I don't have any other thing to add. I just want to say that uh, uh, I still want to appreciate Pastor Pilaji for tonight. It was very deep, very powerful. And this is, this is just the first day with this team. Oh. <laughs> this is the first day with this team. We are going to have at least three intervention on the same team. Remember that the team is a divine insight in the light of kingdom agenda. You have to be prepared for kingdom agenda. 
and and prepare and, and when you get to that place of intimacy with god where you are ready to burn that is just the beginning oh so we have a lot of work a lot of work <laughs> you know the, the stages that we have <laughs> the stages that were counted before they are not even relevant <laughs> so you if you are there just begin to say god take me further like me i'm beginning to pray like tonight lord take me take me further take me further so that you know you can get to the inner chamber with the lord profitable because of kingdom agenda but profitable also at a personal level because you learn to trust god with things you learn intimacy very is very important and i believe that you know as we continue in this study we are going to have more understanding of building intimacy with god you know i i've, I've never mm. thought it's necessary for us to go on that team but building intimacy with god is something that we will talk a little bit more about and i believe that we have a, a, a bigger uh understanding of faith and be who we are but at the place where we are i also want you not to be in a comfort zone but to be contented and thank god for where you are there is no competition in the things of the spirit it's a personal yep. journey between god and you and god where the level where you are he trusts you he trusts you in that level and he trusts you to grow you I cannot tell somebody here now, become Catherine Kuhlman now. It means I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So we can, with our mistakes, with our uh, 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 lacks and, you know, different, different ways of doing things that might not be that perfect in the sight of God. At the end of the day, God is seeking for people that are willing and available, willing and available in this space and the growth and the increase come from the lord remember one sows the seed another one waters but the increase comes from the lord so god bless everybody god bless you again i want to acknowledge the presence of everybody 24 hours prayer storming before i acknowledge everybody 24 hours prayer storming make sure you take one hour to pray for the nation today uh the people who connected from uh, uh facebook god bless you so much god bless you uh, I pray that you were blessed. I pray you were blessed. Sister Scholastic, Equala, Scholar Equala, God bless you. God bless you. Sister Marianne, God bless you. Sister Louise, God bless you. Gerard Tizi, God bless you. Gwen, God bless you. Woman of God, Evangelist Stella Grace. We, we 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 thank god for your life we thank god for your life you're, you're an inspiration always to me i thank god for your life keep strong keep strong woman of strength Sister Ayu, God bless you. Sister Anik, God bless you all the way from Paris, uh, USA, Cameroon. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Melissa, God bless you. Uh, the people who are here in the Zoom, I'm going to jump and, and talk about you uh, from the Zoom. Uh, Sister Courtney, God bless you. Uh, some men were there. Joseph Atkin, God bless you. Uh, Prophet Sandra Dukes, we love you. God bless you. Uh, Isabel Law, God bless you. Sylvie Claude, my cousin, God bless you. Stella Atem, Rebuilding Gatekeeper, God bless you. Pastor Florence, God bless you. Uh, Sister Kopi, God bless you. Sister Joy, God bless you. And everybody else, Sister Teresa, God bless you. Many people connected. Pastor Reginald, God bless you. Sister Mugob, Sister Monica, Sister Donna from Ohio, I think God bless you. And we had Bachi from Cameroon, God bless you. Many people connected. So Sister Rosalie Munongo, God bless you. Ariel Cedric, God bless you, mighty warrior. One of the men in the rebuilding gatekeeper, very committed. Sister Antoinette Capella, God bless you. Sister Lovelyn, God bless you. Rosalie Munongo, God bless you. Lilian Charlie, God bless you. Uh, Christel, God bless you. Apostle Fondo, God bless you. Alfred GD, God bless you. Roger and Dali, God bless you. Everybody that connected from Facebook, God bless you. We love you. We thank God. It was a powerful word. Get back to it and just get inspired and get and allow the Lord to, to you know, to, to, to transform your life. We celebrate everybody that connected. Over the Zoom here, we had uh, about 23 people that were with us, and we thank God for today. Powerful word from Pastor Pelagi. Thank you, ma'am. Pastor Olaomi, God bless you. All the way from Nigeria again. Pastor uh, Sister Joanna, God bless you. She asked one of the most important questions. Uh, but how? Mary said, how will it happen since I know no man? You mm -hmm. asked a powerful, a powerful question. God bless you. We celebrate you. Sister Belta, Sister Tehila, she's a psalmist. She's an artist. She's a comedian. She's everything you want in the Lord. She will she's here with us tonight god bless you we love you sister sony uh she's here she's my daughter from liberia powerful daughter of zion she's here tonight god bless you sister natalie a woman of love 
a kingdom warrior, God bless you. Sister Judah, God bless you. This is Maryland, Dallas, uh, Atlanta, uh, Ohio, Nigeria. Uh, Sister Lovelyn, Pastor Chantal, God bless you. Pastor Chantal, all the way from Cameroon. Sister Lovelyn in the USA. Sister Leah in the USA, God bless you. The Maryland team, I like how Sister Aeon said that they are a team. I love you, you're a leader. Uh, Sister Anna Agbo, God bless you all the way from Maryland also. Um, Sister Kopi, God bless you here in Dallas. Sister Lena from Ohio, God bless you. Sister Domu from Canada, God bless you. Pastor Evelyn from Cameroon, God bless you. Mama Agnes Dumbe, Pastor Agnes Bangura, all the way from Sierra Leone, God bless you. Sister Cynthia, Sister Carolite, I don't know exactly where they are connecting from, but uh, I thank God for their presence. Sister Lucian, all the way from Atlanta, rebuilding the keeper leader all over uh, in that side. God bless you. We love you guys. Powerful, powerful word. It is recorded. We will come, go over it, and we will post it in our forum. Please keep us in prayers and keep all rebuilding it, keep us in prayers. And for the 24 hours, make sure that you take an hour to pray for the nation on Saturday. It is a 24 coverage over the nations. Prayer directions are on my page on Facebook. And uh, that is what I have for us tonight. Sister Anto, uh, I think she was there also and she had to, she was muted. She said she was at work, I think so. Either today or yesterday, I don't know. You know, I'm a woman of the spirit, so I don't know really. <laughs> I connect from the spirit, but I think she was here. So that was it for tonight. We are not going to build many more tents here. I'm just going to ask Pastor uh, Chantal to pray for us tonight, and we are going to uh, close. God bless you. Next time we are meeting is going to be Monday, Monday. But on Sunday we are going to have a training session by uh, for for the to, to understand the mechanism of organizing the rebuilding gatekeepers uh, networking. For those of you who are going to lead different chapters, you know, on in in social platforms, you need to know how we organize this, what we do, and who we are, how many departments we are having, so that you know you are relevant with your group when the time comes. So uh, that is it. God bless you. I love you guys so 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 much. You are my inspiration, and you are you are a great. Uh, uh, challenge to me you know to just stand strong keep me in prayers my family i'm open to every advice that can move us forward that can make us better i'm here to learn and i'm learning so much this time around i've listened to the message of pastor olawumi maybe maybe, maybe 10 times i'm listening to it every day i'm picking one thing every day i'm picking one thing and that is how we grow sister joanne exposing yourself to knowledge study to show yourself approved so mm -hmm. i love you guys i love you guys Amen. 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 Chantal, over to Father, you. we just want to bless you for this uh, evening, oh God. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your teaching. We thank you for bringing us closer and closer to you, yes, to know Lord. you more, to experience your suffering and to experience also your glory and the power of your resurrection in our yes, lives and on our lives. We thank yes, you all for Amen. the thirst of you and your word, of your yes, person. Yes, I pray tonight yes, that we we'll mm. desire to know you mm. as a person. Mm. We we'll desire to know you not only as our God, but as our Father and also mm. as our Father. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus, yes, oh God, the Spirit. You will reveal yourself to each of us. Yes. Those that Zoom, those that was connected to Facebook, Father, you will reveal yourself to us. Holy Amen. Spirit, you are our teacher. And we just commit Amen. ourselves to you tonight and we say thank you for this day. We've also yes, prayed for four hours um, storming going on right now already. But I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your anointing. I thank you for using Amen. every gatekeeper. Thank you, oh God. Yes. You reign above the nations. You sit yes, on Lord. your throne, oh God, and you Amen. rule, and you rule with your people. Thank you, Amen. Lord, for empowering us. Yes, for empowering Lord. us. The light of this yes. world. In the name of Jesus, receive glory, 
receive, receive glory, honor, Lord. Amen. 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 Congratulations. Amen. Thank you for saying this, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Especially the people from Africa and Europe, we just thank God for you. In fact, you guys are inspiring us. <laughs> In America here, when you remember you have to go to work, you don't want to be awake by 1, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., but you guys, in spite of having some responsibilities in the morning, you still pay the price. We love you guys. Let me see if there any message here that uh, is to everybody. You know, we had all the people that intervened in the chat. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, Sister Bell. I, I can yeah, see your beautiful man. face there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm at work though i'm at work so i'm just <laughs> wow an extra mile like, this is exactly what we are talking about you know <laughs> god bless you god bless you bye bye facebook live bye 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 the people are coming when we are closing bye bye we love you guys see you next time next edition facebook live bye bye bye, bye.